Hi everyone, my name is Whitney and I'm a dental hygienist. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Let's talk about how to recover after you get your wisdom teeth pulled. And before we jump in, I'd like to quickly remind you about my website, teethtalkgirl.com. If you're ever looking for a specific dental topic, I have a search bar where you can easily find what you're looking for. And my Instagram, at teethtalkgirl. So you had your wisdom teeth out, awesome. Now let the healing process begin. It is normal to feel a little achy and tender and uncomfortable for several days after your wisdom teeth are removed. But always be sure to call your dental office right away if you have heavy or increased bleeding, a bad taste or odor in your mouth, pain or swelling that gets it's worse or lasts longer than two to three days, and or a reaction to medication. Now, the first 24 hours are the most important for the healing process. Well, really the first 48, but let's start by talking about the first 24. Be sure to do whatever your dentist and or oral surgeon who performed the extractions tells you to do. Follow their instructions. Their instructions will help blood clots form where your teeth were pulled, which is extremely important because the blood clot is what stops the bleeding, which stops the pain. A typical wisdom teeth removal usually calls for a three to seven day recovery time before you head back to work or school. Your dentist will let you know how many days they recommend and or estimate for you individually. Usually the younger you are, the quicker you will heal and a bunch of other factors. So they will let you know what to expect. But if you get a dry socket, this can delay the healing process by at least two weeks. A dry socket is what happens when a blood clot fails or the clot comes out too soon, which then exposes the jawbone underneath. And the goal is to prevent this from happening so you could heal quickly. Again, to prevent the dry socket and heal quickly is to follow your dentist's instructions. The instructions usually are things like bite on gauze for about an hour after the extractions. And don't freak out if it looks like you're bleeding crazy at first because the mixture of your blood and saliva can make it look worse than it is. Oozing is sometimes normal but they usually say after the first hour or so to switch to a clean piece of gauze. It can bleed up to 24 hours. Do not spit and do not use a straw. Do not suck on anything like candies or mints. Don't rinse your mouth and don't brush or floss that area. Don't go near that area with any home care tools. Don't smoke. You should really avoid tobacco for at least 72 hours if you can. Try not to sneeze or cough. If you're worried because you have allergies or something, talk to your dentist beforehand. Ask if you should take your allergy meds. Your dentist will recommend what's best for you. Every situation is different. Don't elevate your heart rate. So no cardio, no jumping jacks. Don't get your heart racing. Too much physical exertion can get your blood pressure up and delay the healing process. Stick with resting and relaxing on the couch, but don't lay flat. Make sure to elevate your head with pillows when you lay down. Don't drink hot beverages and also stay clear from alcohol and spicy foods. Some general ways to keep the swelling down is to use an ice pack on the swollen areas, usually 20 minutes on and 20 minutes off. Again, follow your surgeon's instruction as to what they want you to do. These are just generalized tips. I can't stress that enough. To help with discomfort, you can take pain meds that have been prescribed to you by your dentist or surgeon. These days, most dentists don't need to prescribe strong pain pills or narcotics for wisdom tooth extractions. Instead, cold compresses and over-the-counter anti-inflammatories are usually all that's needed, if your doctor is okay with you taking them, of course. As long as you keep the inflammation down and you take it easy, the recovery process is generally super straightforward. Okay, now, once the numbness wears off, drink lots of fluids. But remember, not through a straw. And eat soft, nutritious foods. Food like yogurt, yogurt, pudding, applesauce, cottage cheese, fruit smoothies, again, without a straw, no straw. So that was the first 24 hours. After 24 hours, you can usually begin to eat normally as soon as it's comfortable, but still try to avoid crunchy foods for a little while longer. You can go back to your routine brushing and flossing, but again, take it slow. Be super gentle around those extraction sites for a week. Try not to get close to them. You do not want to touch the areas where the teeth were pulled. Keep taking your antibiotics if they were prescribed for the entirety of the prescription. Don't stop taking them just because you feel healed. Swelling usually starts to go down after about 48 hours, but to further reduce swelling and soreness, you can start maybe rinsing your mouth with warm salt water. However, make sure to move your head to switch it back and forth. You do not want to switch it back and forth like that with your cheeks. It's a very gentle rinse with your head not with your cheeks. Some doctors might recommend that you rinse and swish for two to three times a day for the first week. So again, take their advice on how long you should be doing that and when they recommend you to start. Also, some doctors might recommend the warm saltwater rinse and others might prescribe an antimicrobial rinse. Whichever the case, please remember that heavy swishing has the potential to dislodge the blood clot. You don't want that because that leads to a dry socket. So if and when you are told to swish on that second day, make sure you move your head back and forth like we said. I'm sorry to keep repeating this, but just remember 
don't smush with your cheeks. And the most important take home message of this whole video is to follow your surgical home care instructions as carefully as possible. You'll be fine, enjoy this time of resting, and just take it easy and wait to heal. I hope this video helped you. Please like and subscribe if it did. If you want more Teeth Talk, you can visit my website, teethtalkgirl.com, for more articles and videos about healthy mouths and healthy teeth. Peace, love, and teeth.